Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and I'm back. <laughs> I took a day off, went across the border, and I witnessed the most insane amounts of engagement farming accounts. It actually really invoked me to come back and sort of talk about something. Now ladies and gentlemen, Twitter, or, or as it known as X, has gotten dramatically worse. Ever since they introduced ad sharing, people have been sharing some of the most brain debt takes all to accumulate $20 <laughs> a month. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. If you want to talk about the worst ad pay rates, it's probably Twitter monetization. I feel like anybody that says I made more than $300 is lying. Dog, this is the only platform where you can make like hundreds of millions of impressions and get like literally paid just uh, just just uh, just just a few just a few pennies on the dollar, all right? It's actually really bad math. Now, of course, ladies and gentlemen, this doesn't stop grifters and individuals from posting some of the most brain dead shit all for the sake of like paying off that Starbucks order for the day. <laughs> now, of course, engagement bait is not something new. One of the articles that I actually read that I wanted to talk about was Resident Evil 5 is just too racist for a remake. Now, last time I remember playing this game, which is actually one of my favorite Resident Evil games. I, again, destroy me if you must. Uh, last time, last time I checked, you know, they didn't have a they didn't have a clan head uh, skin for for Chris Redfield running around Africa fighting the infected. Now, this is sort of an old historical trope from Resident Evil 5's actual development cycle, where unfortunately it was actually confounded with uh, allegations of the old racism. Why? It's because Chris Redfield. The, uh, the, you know, the, 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 the white guy from Raccoon City flies all the way over to Africa to, like, shoot up infected zombies. Now, obviously, you can imagine that the, uh, you know, majority ethnicity of Africa is probably African, uh, black. Uh, so I don't know where this whole expectation of where the Japanese people at, okay? Where's the, where's the diversity at in Uganda, <laughs> is what I'm wondering. And of course, Resident Evil 5 looked at Gears of War and decided it needed a slice of that gray, edgy, and bloated pie. It's not a bad game, but I struggle to describe it as anything more than a pale imitation. Where in the fuck did Gears of War and Resident Evil 5, aside from using the cover system four times in the game, actually amount to any similarity? It also has mandatory co-ops so if you're playing alone, removing the little horror. Where's the memorandum that says Resident Evil was scary? It wasn't, okay? When you utter lines like, oh man, uh, you almost turned into a Jill sandwich, guess what, okay? Taxes are scarier than Resident Evil, all right? The fucking IRS is scarier than Umbrella. And of course, I was still in primary school when RE5 was unveiled, so my understanding of racism and the historical role it plays in the global socio-political culture was fairly lacking. I just wanted to murder zombies with my friends. Yeah, for a game called Resident Evil 5, that's... Pretty, pretty much, pr pretty much how we, how we wanted to go into the awkward marketing. Eager to focus on a white man waltzing into an impoverished town, only to murder its inhabitants. The moment Chris and Sheva venture into the swamplands and are immediately assaulted by natives donning bamboo skirts, whose main mode of combat is throwing homemade spears while screaming in a dialect that feels ripped straight out of an insensitive '30s cartoon. Yeah, it's kind of what the uh, it's what the marshlands of uncivilized parts of the world is like. It's like going to uncivilized Amazonian jungles, you know, uncivilized parts of like you know the the Latin America, so to speak. Look, I don't think I have to. Like, I don't have. I don't think I have to explain this game's story over here. All right. Yes, there are there are places in the world where society has not touched. Okay. Now this one account also proves that basic math is too hard for Twitter users to do. Obviously that was an article we just led, read, but if you actually read over here, for instance, some people have discovered that subtracting numbers all leads to six. Oh my God, is this satanic? Six, 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 why six? Now, of course, if you ever noticed, a clock is normally opposite of half the number. So yeah, uh, I guess I guess you can answer yourself why subtracting seven by one gives you six, subtracting single digit mathematics have never been such a filter when it came to Twitter, okay? This is the best goddamn site in existence. I swear to God, <laughs> it's the best. It's like the Fermi paradox of social media. <laughs> It just filters the brain dead. But for instance, one of the actual accounts that I saw posting was Tomboys are not hot. I repeat, tomboys are not hot. Attraction to tomboys is homosexuality and women shouldn't be working outside. What kind of a man? <laughs> All right, let's throw in some gender roles here. 
So this individual is known as Hannah Barron, okay? Now, if you've been following so her account, she's been kind of blowing up the last few days because she does a lot of, like, you know, construction work. She does a lot of work outside, whether it be for her family, her dad, or whatnot. She's she's an outgoing girl. She ain't, she ain't sitting behind keeping gender norms behind her. Now, of course, what I really find weird about this is, like, this almost growing contingent of, oh, my God, girls are actually doing fishing and hunting and working out? Ooh, if you like them, I, it, me, it might mean you're gay. <laughs> I think being attracted to a woman just automatically makes you straight, but you do you, King. Again, it's not necessarily to spread a message. It's to engage in the algorithm. It's to, it's to impression farm, okay? Much, much like Farmer Brown. <laughs> Farmer Twitter <laughs> loves to basically make rage bait all for the sake of making like 20 bucks on the site. Now, of course, uh, Plastic decided to gain sentience and post, this accent needed to be illegal and women should be banned for doing manual labor like this. Now, I remember this account because they, they were basically glazing Andrew Tate during their like peak uh, you know, basically, like, you know the whole, like, future meme, like, the, the rapper future, and he, like, opens the book, Why Women Deserve Less? This is, like, the actual personification of, like, yeah, uh, women do deserve less. The kitchen? I'm gonna handcuff myself to it. Crazy stuff here. Crazy shit. All right? Insane. There is nothing feminine about American women. American women are literally men. <laughs> So, okay, the accent was one that was brought up. Now, I generally, so I'm going to let you listen to the accent first off. We're going we're gonna to get this together as an audience and see. Uh, just, I'm going to ask in the comments, do you think this is an unattractive accent? Good morning, y'all. Quick update on the house because I've been pretty terrible about giving y'all these. Um, we took a little break for noodling season and to put out boxes. Now that it's dried in, we can do it at our own pace. But here she is. We're going to stain all that wood a darker brown and the shutters when we get that on. She literally is just talking about you. You know, this is like one innocent person on the internet just doing like cool stuff daily. This is the kind of stuff I love to see in the algorithm, okay? Woodworking video videos, you know, people doing cool stuff around their houses. You know, people like me who like, hey guys, you wanna make Billy the ultimate virtual machine computer? Just, just creative stuff. And you know, her accent, all right, is a Southern accent. Now I generally believed, okay, I generally assumed as a, as, as a North American, we all unanimously agree that the, that the Jersey accent was by far the worst one available. I don't know when that changed, but of course, ladies and gentlemen, nothing is more unattractive than jealousy, which is what the original post was. Now, of course, this individual got ratioed, but of course, 56.5 million views actually matters. That means they earned enough for a quarter pounder meal at McDonald's at this point with the way prices are going. And then, of course, to cope posts later, they go, Lebanese women are literally perfect and they are actually feminine. I'm like estrogen. De <laughs> what the fuck? Estrogen deficient American woman who hold the record for highest testosterone levels in the world. <laughs> dude, dude, I swear to God, <laughs> Americans be like, we're the number one in everything. <laughs> and then, of course, obviously, thank God for the community. Oh, it's estrogen varies by many factors. Average national age, weather, and diet can change levels. There is no evidence that the USA has low estrogen or holds the record for highest female testosterone. High estrogen is linked to infidelity and breast cancer? What? You can cheat? No way! It's crazy, it's crazy how like through just reading engagement bait, you two can learn about what is a feminine steroid all in the same day. <laughs> Like, even if you hate me, at least you learn something medical out of it, too. Christ, I might save this for later. I like learning. Here's the next cope post here. High-value American women should become passport bros. Don't they deserve better than the filth they are limited to in their own country? I want to show you the filth right here. Here's Hannah Everybody basically capturing fishes, fish, all right? She's down in the dirty. She's going in. She's going to, like, Laura Croft right here. Now, of course, this is just somebody vibing and enjoying their life, and I can absolutely appreciate it. They're out there helping these critters for crying out loud. This oh bitch is complaining about somebody that she's obviously jealous me, I of. Oh, I love when they're like passport bros. Like, dude. <laughs> hey, guys. Can't cut it in your home country? Better, f better fly somewhere out in the middle of nowhere where people have less choices. Or they only marry you because they want to come to a country that actually has some more value. Jesus Christ. And then, of course, no, nothing is complete for her without glazing Melania Trump for some reason. Just down there. Now, this is where I love the most. This is where you can tell even her actual audience doesn't find her funny, okay? 
Most physically attractive, ladies and gentlemen, this this was the worst result here. You know, Levantine women came at 5.5%. Eastern European came at 22%. Everyone here was like 72.5% American, okay? No. Hold on. God, don't you just hate it when you try to sneeze and it doesn't come? God! <coughs> but you get coughs instead. Get out of here, dude. I hate it when... The, that's the worst feeling in the world. When you want to sneeze and you just can't. Liberate America from tomboy occupation. Now, at this point, I'm pretty sure she's trying to troll, but she doesn't have the humor to necessarily necessitate that. I love this response right over here, too. It's crazy. Jealous lol, most guys would rather have a girl like this than some girly, wimpy princess? And she's like, are you almost... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, McLarens don't go zero to a hundred than that response. Jesus Christ. Man, somebody left this poor woman scorn. Jesus Christ. Now, of course, I've never seen classiness like this. Obviously, Hannah decided, yeah, I'm just going to respond to this. And her response was quite possibly the best one that I've ever seen out of all of this bullshit. Listen to this. Good morning, y'all. I don't have a Twitter. I did at one point, but my account got removed for whatever reason. And I just hadn't got around to making another account. But apparently I'm trying- Dude, I don't know. Did she post something based or something? How do you how you getting banned on Twitter these days? <laughs> you can post whatever you want. i on Twitter right now because some girl, hey Merle, some girl said that my accent should be illegal. Women shouldn't do manual labor. Oh, what else did she say? American women are basically men. And she just said that I was not feminine. Ooh. And I would tell y'all this girl's name, but I can't remember it because I don't have a clue who she is. So that should tell you how relevant this person is. But I just think it's hilarious because I grew up as the weird kid in high school who hunted and fished too much. Because back then it wasn't cool for women to hunt or fish or the whole country lifestyle. And I'm so proud of all the women in the outdoors now who are making that more cool or popular. So proud of us. I think we're doing great but i've been helping dad build houses since i was 15. when i was a senior in high school i taught kids how to weld in ag class so i've done not manual labor when i think of manual labor i think of what my dad does i'm nowhere near that i just help as much as i can and i try and it's fun and there's nothing wrong with that there's a lot of blue collar women out there who are also feminine and so I just think that you should embrace your own individuality. Bro, I've never seen somebody this classy, man. That's crazy. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, man, trust me, compared to like a plastic Barbie, I would much rather people be like this. Uh, Jen, for instance, my wife, she's a great person at this point when it comes to like getting stuff fixed. You want to talk about, you want to talk about side quests anytime we go places and something fucks up in the car or something actually messes up, me and her are like teammates on it. Trust me, uh, ladies who, who hate people like this, guys would much rather prefer being with individuals that can get their hands dirty and, and have fun with you, all right? At the same time, that's pretty much how it goes. But of course, for engagement farmers like uh, like like these people, it's it's not necessarily what it's about. So of course, they didn't take their ratio gr gracefully. They obviously had to they obviously had to bring in more politics into this nonsense. The mascots of the American conservative movement. <laughs> Shut the f God damn. But of course, even better than that are the fake rich guys that I found on the internet too. For instance, this is NFT uh, Nick. All right, here's him in his N NYC penthouse. And I want you guys to watch this real quick. It is quite possibly the most engineered douchebag that I've ever seen. Yo, cheers to all the Twitter haters who said I don't own my- He broke character. Like he literally smirked and laughed. He broke character. <laughs> he broke it. Get out of here. Miami house. I'll have you know I had the staff load up my jet so I could fly out here to my New York City penthouse pied a terre. Anyways, while you're click clacking on Twitter from your mom's basement, I'll be sitting here sipping from my $5,000 bottle of champagne. Remember, choose rich. <laughs> and the best part is, is like people go into the comments here and they're like, hold on, that champagne costs less than $85. I mean, they literally found out the exact bottle. <laughs> God damn, <laughs> the internet's the internet's dirty. Now, of course, when it comes to these get rich quick gurus, the best part is like when he keeps responding. Now, obviously, this is a troll. Okay, this is an actual, honest to god troll. Like this person's not like NFT rich or whatever. They're just a goddamn troll. 
And if you go to their website right here, the nifty free NFTs almost daily, don't, don't, don't bother signing up to this nonsense. Please, please don't enter this crap. You don't need to be part of the NFT crap to start out with. But anyways, listen to this one, the message to the notes. Yo, shout out to the Twitter people praying for my downfall while saying my champagne ain't real. Keep questioning my life while you cry into your TV dinner and my chauffeur brings me to $3,000 high tea service at Baccarat. Choose rich. <laughs> How do you engineer yourself to this guy has to be like a CIA plan to destroy crypto's rising valley? <laughs> it's like Bitcoin's going to new record highs. Also, this man starts trending for some reason. A little, a little bit sus in my opinion, but here's one where he's in like, I guess, Los Angeles. Watch this one. Crypto Twitter seem to be amused. Wait, hold on. Is that, is that your suitcase, bro? Is that, a, is that your luggage right over there? Interesting. Never really got to unpack in my house, but okay. By my success. I worked hard to buy that yacht. I worked hard to buy this big ass house. Yet you're out there tweeting at me from your tiny little apartment and itty bitty couch. Well, let me tell you, I made a mindset shift. I chose rich every time. So what life you gonna choose? Ooh, he chose rich every time, dude. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to be honest with you, to be real, I don't know if that's an Airbnb. Maybe that is his house, who actually knows? But of course, what, what will never save you is from the internet roasting you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, obviously engagement farming, it, it seems like a pretty viable alternative to getting a job at Burger King at the end of the day. Your paycheck might be less. At this point, the, uh, let me tell you, the entry-level workers at the most entry-level positions are making miles and leagues better than the Twitter farmers. So one has to imagine why somebody does this other than having a fucking humiliation fetish. But yeah, I wanted to look into it because it's been a few uh, interesting examples that have made me kind of laugh. I like to talk about stupid shit like this. But ladies and gentlemen, if you ever consider yourself wanting to jump into the world of engagement farming, please run away. Get a, get help. Get actual help, all right? <laughs> because my God, every single person we've seen here has absolutely seen their life being destroyed piece by piece. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. Ah! <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>